Swordmaster, who I'm assuming is being incredibly patient. And I've got my mate here, Bit Striker. Um, I've called him in to help me out because, uh, um, I'm gonna be honest, I should probably heal up. Right then. Okay, cool, he looks ready to go. Let's get in there. What it is, what is obviously uh, big and mean and frosty. Fuck, frosty. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm getting out of there. This is good. It's nice to have the reach, so I can poke at him. Ow, I can never get the shield up in time. Alright, cool. What is distracted? It's a really slow weapon, but it does do a whole lot of damage. Frostbitten. Shit. Oh, please make drum away if you can. I can't see. Oh no. This is it. This is how we die. Fuck. <laughs> if that counts, I would be so happy. I don't think it does though. Oh, nope, it counted. <laughs> As if that counted. Right. <laughs> awesome. Right. I'm actually really, really happy that that counted. I don't want to have to do that boss again. I thought it was an overly bad boss, but some of those bosses have those moves where they do move around really, really quickly, and it's less that they're really hard to kill. It's more that it's just. Uh, it's kind of annoying, to be quite honest, because it's like, okay, cool, I've now got to wait for you to stop playing funny buggers. Yeah, that's why we don't talk shit talk to the uh, big demon dude. Uh, bye. Screw you. Looks, here he comes. Poke. Poke. Did I just get... Yeah, I did get shot in the back. I was gonna say, like, where'd all that extra blood just come from for a second? Come at me, bro. <laughs> this is gonna be a relatively short set because it's mostly just so we could um, kill the boss and move on to the next bonfire, so. Yeah, bye. Oh, 
Oh, this is the next bonfire. Okay, cool. And that is our souls back. And thank you all for watching. <laughs> that was the Vordit fight. Or what? I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce the dude's name. So sorry me, I don't know every word. Well, thank you all for watching, and until next time, toodles. Because I'm using the same mic for my play, and forgot to plug it back in. So yeah, what I've done is I've leveled up the halberd, and I bought some more um, embers. Uh, is it embers? Yeah, I bought an ember. So that's all I've done. Sorry you guys uh, were not able to see it. I, yeah, I messed up. Sorry. I don't know what it was that... Oh, my word. Wow. Um, Raise banner. But, uh, yeah, I messed up. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> that was like the tiniest banner. Are these? Oh look! Look who it is, or what it is. For those of you who haven't played Dark Souls 1 or seen Dark Souls 1, uh, these guys hang around areas and transport players from one section to another. Um, I don't actually know what their allegiance is because you see them in some areas and you can actively fight them. So some of them are like, yeah, we'll just transport you from place to place, and some of them are like, yeah, no, we want to fight you. <laughs> fight us, bruh. Right. Uh... <clears throat> mm. Okay, so let's have a look around what we got. Every time I see something like this, it's all I can think of is it's just like, what is a pound, what is about to come from behind me to pounce? Although that said, I also want to know what the hell happened to this guy because he's been freaking Dragon Ball Z smashed from the looks. Like, look, he's at the top of this pile of rubble, like smashed into a ball in the corner there, and a straight line is like that wall, and then down here, I don't know where the hell he came from. So. Whatever, we'll find out. I'm sure. When whatever it is invariably comes to kill us. Be wary of enemy. Okay. I think I see a helmet at the butt at the end of the uh, wall there. Oh, hello. Huh. Okay. Right. <laughs> well, these things sound horrifying. Come at me, bruh. You did. If you're curious why I keep attacking the wall, I'm trying to like make a noise to aggro them. Which does work, usually. And there's the other one. There we go. I seriously thought he was gonna get back up and attack me then. I became concerned. What have we got over here? And more importantly, are you allied or not? You don't look allied. You're holding a big old cleaver. I mean, you could buy any buy. You, <laughs> you could by chance actually just be someone to trying to defend the town. Uh, I doubt it. <laughs> Quite frankly. Oh, hello.
And that's what happens, ladies and gentlemen, when you button mash. You can wildly attack without any roll control. Oh, cool. Two alluring skulls. Nice. You look still alive. Nope, you just died still clutching the, the thing, and it won't let me look at your face either. <coughs> Man. Why do I have the just innate fear that all of this lot is going to get up and start attacking me? Oh, okay. A dragon. It doesn't look perched so much as crashed. Apparently I can get over there somehow. Then. <laughs> Please grant me death. Undo my shackles. <laughs> oh, you're that one. Hello. Oh. Oh, then it's true. A champion of ash as I live and breathe. To be in your presence is a great honor. I am Yol of Londor. A pilgrim, as you can see, only somehow I failed to die as was ordained. Well, perhaps my calling lies elsewhere. Say, Champion of Ash, how does the idea of taking me into your service strike you? I was once a sorcerer. Surely I can be of use. Oh, okay. I am honored, truly. I should be dead, yet you have granted me purpose anew. I, Yol of Londor, do solemnly swear myself to you. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to take a guess and say merchant. You know, I'm just going to offhand say merchant. <clears throat> but, you know, never know. Uh... Praise is good. Hey, anyone else alive? No one? Sure? Alright. Make my long ass way. I'll be honest, <clears throat> crows kind of sketched me out a little bit. After Bloodborne, they sort of sketched me a little bit there. Alright, peace bro. Probably get my weapon out. Yep, you are going to aggro me. Okay. Sit down. See, that wasn't so hard. Really? They're getting out the pitchforks? It feels nasty. It's like somebody's been cutting glue down the inside of my mouth or something. You going to get up? Or... No? Okay. <laughs> Small leather shield. Set guys, I'm just 
Occasionally when I pick something up, it looks like I have like spit on the screen or water on the screen. But I don't, so it's like yeah, what? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Looked like he was a counterbalance or something. Hello? This shit are you? Oh, okay. I think they're, that's, um... Yeah, I've heard about that. That's a, um... What was it? Chinese torture method, I think it was? They would basically put a big weight around your neck, and it would basically force you to run around on all fours. Oh yeah, that's not creepy whatsoever. No, that's not completely terrifying or weird at all. Break the shit out of that. Normally not a big proponent of defiling a corpse, but uh, yeah. I think that had been defiled enough. This is obviously some sort of torture area. Wow, just how many bodies did they acquire? This is ridiculous. Alright, you're dead. You're dead. See you up there, bitch. You're dead. Right. Yeah, I never actually finished what I was saying. Um, so they put the big weight around your neck, and uh, it was to force you to crawl on your belly because they were saying that you know you're in no good, and all you're fit for is to crawl on your belly. Okay. There's an upper floor there. Let's uh, see if we can get out through that window. Wait, did we pick up... Yes, we did pick up the item. Bit close. Okay. I'm really glad I came around the corner of my shield. Dark Souls has made me learn. Dark Souls. Quick reaction times and vast amounts of paranoia. Alright, so I'm seeing, <clears throat> seeing these guys there. Three there. Another four there. And one on their knees. Who seems to be doing... Seems to be praying and helping to lead it. There's another one there. And then there's another person over there who's praying, but they're all on their own, which makes me think either they're just not liked, or they're the person leading, leading the uh, ceremony. But down we go. God, probably wasn't a great idea. Loretta's bone. Wasn't Lo um, that woman that the guy wanted me to um, go see? What's Loretta's bone do? Okay. Doesn't say. Okay, let's try and sneak past. I can't tell if that's the wind blowing that corpse, or if there's someone alive in there just by the fact that it's moving and the rest aren't. Not sure if graphical glitch, well, physics glitch, or... Um, person is a victim. You should go. Yeah. <sighs> Alright. They don't seem to give a shit, so good. Walk around the house. 
walking around the side, so... Except, you know, the side of the house. Yep, I thought there'd be guys in here. Village. One upstairs. Okay, good. <laughs> Thought I'd double check. No one's just going to drop on my head from. Oh, <laughs> as I'm saying it. <laughs> Ding. Okay, you already have a bag, aren't you? Pick up item. Thrall hood. Something like what it says actually about a thrall hood. Uh, Charlotte and Info. Hood used to cover the head of lesser folk who were set to work as slaves throughout uh, Lothric. Yeah, Lothric. Uh, occasionally used to shame and humiliate criminals. Okay. Also seems to be what the weight is. The weight and the hood are the same, one and the same piece. Every time I open these doors, I always get a bit paranoid I'm going to open it and there's just going to be like a weapon thrust through the door that's opening it. Alright, hang on, I just want to make sure no one's running at me. There is a procession being led by what I assume is a woman. Alright. Hey! Caduceus round shield. Damn, all the things in this do not give 100% protection from metal, <coughs> from physical, which is a bit, yeah. I'm gonna be dick. This dipshit throwing, trying to throw them up here. That's it, all they have to do is ignite one of those barrels and that'll happen. <laughs> oh shit, I just noticed my health. Is this dude like tossing firebombs like confetti or something? I think he was. Which is hilariously weird. Up there. Oh wow, okay, yeah, there's a team of them. That explains a whole lot. Alright, so I think we're gonna go around and underneath. Where's this one who's throwing them up at me? We Hello. Hello, sir. Just dropping through. Just dropping on by. Seeing who's in the neighborhood. Be better if my Twitch would fuck off. Alright. Light. Let's go. Okay, so it should be these two. It's a bit close. No, fuck you. And there's this dude. Do we move it? And that's why you don't smack talking Dark Souls. Which never ends well. Okay, cool. Aha! Unkindled, are we? Welcome to my abode. I am Cornix, an old pyromancer. A crow in his cage, as you see now. But here we are. An encounter for the ages. <laughs> I hear the unkindled make for fine vessels. 
Care to learn some pyromancies from this old man? Yeah, why not? We're already learning. We already have miracles, mind. Ah, most wise. A chance encounter should not be squandered. To reiterate, I am Cornix of the Great Swamp. Oh, okay, Great Swamp. Dude. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> the Great Swamp is where like all pyromancy comes from. Pretty funny that they're all just like in these cages, like, oh, please, will you accept my offer of help? And you're like, yes. I'm like, all right, cool, bye. <laughs> they, just disappear, they just teleport out from wherever they are. It's like, you didn't really need me at all. <laughs> Could have gotten away at any time. Uh, let's get the crossbow out. Partisan. Cool. So have a look if it's any better. Sorry, I thought I heard walking armor. Like, you know, armor creaking as it moves. Center thrust. Eh. Would have been cool to go from spear to partisan to halberd, but you know. I already have the halberd. I don't see a reason to uh, settle for mediocrity. Okay, that does some damage. Well, I need to make dinner for <laughs> a bunch of people just died, okay. Um, I need to make dinner for tonight, so I will talk to you all later. So next time. Toodles!